Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on fractions on the number line. With respect to the number line, we have been looking at whole numbers or counting numbers only at this stage. I think it is easy to see that there are other numbers existing between the whole numbers, namely fractions. Let us consider a very small part of the number line between 0 and 1. If we consider some fractions between 0 and 1, it is easy to understand that such fractions as a half, a third, two thirds, three quarters, etc. exist here. Between 0 and 1 we have many fractions of various sizes. If we magnify this short interval from 0 to 1 we have the following. So here are some number lines. There are five of them and we can see that for example this one there's the fraction a half. It's halfway between 0 and 1. Here we have 1 third and 2 thirds. A quarter, 2 on 4, 3 on 4. And then we've divided the number line into 6 parts and here we've divided it into 8 parts. All for the interval from 0 to 1. So the fractions that line up exactly above or below each other are equivalent fractions. That's very important to understand. So for example, just, just as an example, a half is an equivalent fraction to 2 on 4. It's equivalent to 3 on 6. It's equivalent to 4 on 8. That's what we mean by this sentence. Consider the following number lines between 0 and 1. There are three of them. We can use the above number lines to answer the following questions. Write an equivalent fraction for 1 over 6. There is 1 over 6 and that lines up with 2 over 12. So the answer is 2 over 12. Write two equivalent fractions for 1 over 3. There's 1 over 3. It lines up with 2 over 6 and 4 over 12. So there are the answers. Write an equivalent fraction for 3 over 6. There's 3 over 6 and it lines up with 6 over 12. So that's the answer. Write two equivalent fractions for 2 over 3. There's 2 over 3 and it lines up with 4 over 6 and 8 over 12. So there are the answers. And write an equivalent fraction for 10 over 12. There's 10 over 12 and it lines up with 5 over 6. So there's the answer. The above number lines can be used to answer the following questions. Write the simplest equivalent fraction for 4 over 12. Now there's 4 over 12 and the two equivalent fractions are 2 over 6 and 1 over 3 but that's the simplest. So the answer is 1 over 3. Write the simplest equivalent fraction for 8 over 12. There's 8 over 12 and the two equivalent fractions are 4 over 6 and 2 over 3. That's the simplest, so the answer is 2 over 3. Which fraction is greater, 1 over 6 or 1 over 3? Now let's look at where these fractions sit. There's 1 over 6 and there's 1 over 3. So the answer, 1 over 3 is greater because it lies to the right of 1 over 6. You can see that 1 over 3 lies to the right of 1 over 6, hence it is bigger. Which fraction is greater, 2 over 3 or 5 over 6? Let's see where they are. There's 2 over 3 and there's 5 over 6. 5 over 6 is greater because it lies to the right of 2 over 3. There's 5 over 6 there. So this video has continued on with the idea of the number line but this time we've looked at the fractions between 0 and 1 and we've done some exercises on equivalent fractions.